YouTube, man, what is going on? It's LNH back with another video. And today we have this hot topic, man. Jalen Green's name is honestly going crazy in the community right now. There is a ton of things going around with this name. And we actually do finally have an insight as to where he will get drafted and what team he's going to. So let's break it down and get right into it. Now, of course, Jalen Green, in my opinion, is honestly one of the most impressive guards that we have in the upcoming draft. And even ever since high school, this dude has been a dog on the court. Now he has had pretty much all the accolades you could think of, of course being a highly recruited player in his class, McDonald's All-American, of course was killing in AAU, and I really just see this guy's limit and his sky, his talent level is sky's the limit for him. This dude has put in so much work. Now of course taking that untraditional route and going to the G League ended up paying off in my opinion because it does look like things are working out pretty well for him. Now in the G League he averaged just around 18 points per game four rebounds per game and around three assists per game and in my opinion for the type of skill and the type of talent that he brought to the table he definitely showed out and proved what he could do on the basketball court now of course 18 points that's pretty solid especially when you're playing against guys who arguably have already played in the NBA at times and have really been back and forth it's pretty solid and shows that I think he's going to be able to be a huge contributor once he does actually officially get to the NBA now Jalen of course is around 6'6 180 which again if you look at that stature I think that only makes him better prepared for the NBA he clearly is built for the next level but man I think what's most impressive about his game are two things now one of course that athleticism is crazy the way he can jump to dunk the ball catch alley-oops is really unmatched at this level of course there are other athletic guys but he really just seems like he's jumping off of a springboard now in addition to this of course that jump shot is another thing that's very attractive about his game in my opinion I think it's it looked solid ever since he was in high school but it really just carried through and I think that's what's really going to help him be effective at the next level because you guys know by now you have to be able to shoot very well now this dude has been putting in a ton of work on Instagram and I'll make sure to include some of the clips here but I think him just showing all the work that he's been putting in his athleticism even in a 360 dunk with one hand which was looking crazy man I think this just shows he is really living up to all the hype that he has has. Now, a recent Instagram live is actually going crazy right now, and a lot of you guys were mentioning this. Now, this Instagram live, he actually went live, and somebody, a form, a NBA player, actually commented on his Instagram live. Now, if we take a look at it, that's a scary back I ain't gonna hold you. KB, you know that's a scary. What? Man, Kevin Porter Jr. actually commented on his Instagram live saying, don't say too much, haha. Ha. Now, basically what he's implying here is that they will probably end up playing in the future. And a lot of people are actually saying that Jalen Green is gonna be going to the Rockets, which is insane. I think seeing that backcourt and them guys actually play on the basketball court, and especially now both of them are dogs and really like to go at other players and are not afraid when they step on the court at all. I would love to see those two guys play together. Now, Jalen Green, of course, talking about a dog and the type of style that he plays, he actually, his coach had actually said about him, he wants to be compared to Kobe. Now, I really see Jalen Green's game, in my opinion, really centered around Kobe's entire game. Now, if we take a look at it, man, I love how Jalen Green really embraces that Mamba mentality where he's going to go against you and he's going to have that killer instinct to try to win the game, try to get his and make sure that he comes out with a W at the end of the day. And I really admire that type of play style because a lot of times you see younger recruits and younger guys not always go after it but in my opinion it seems like Jalen Green is one of these guys who is a lot less a, a lot less passive and really just goes after it each game with all that he has now it's crazy because I made a video about this when I first started doing YouTube and I actually compared Jalen Green to Kobe Bryant and that was years ago so that's crazy in my opinion that this is servicing once again now another post here from Jalen Green and actually said this and this is a quote about Bobby Brown 
playing with Jalen Green in the G League. And he said this, he wanted all the smoke from everybody. And I think this just confirms what exactly I'm saying and the type of player that he is. I really like players that like to go at other players and are not afraid of any type of competition. And I think where he played at in high school played a huge factor in his development. Now, of course, he went to prolific prep, which is an excellent school, and it really prepares you for the next level. When you go to these type of schools where you're playing with other highly recruited, highly talented players, players what do you think is going to happen one that's going to sharpen your mind because you keep going against really talented players who are probably just as good or maybe even potentially better than you but when you do that it's only going to help you get better for the next level and of course going to the g league which at the time it was an unproven move i think again it's paying off as well because it looks like it's working out he definitely increased his skills worked on his game his strength his athleticism looks good and he's been hearing from all these nba scouts nba coaches and of course when you're in the g league you're right under these guys so i think he's super prepared for the next level and i think that's what's going to separate him from other guys like kate cut him and all these other highly recruited players Jalen Suggs in the long run of course these drafts you never know where they're going to end up playing but I think long run long term man he just seems like one of these guys who is really going to be in the NBA for a long time and he's going to be a household name one of these days but I'm curious man do you guys think I missed anything about this I want you guys to leave it in the comments down below what do you think do you think I'm really right about Jalen Green and his entire talent and really the way that he plays on the court am I right or do you think I'm just gassing it and I'm incorrect let me know in the comments down below now on the other hand I gotta talk about this man a lot of you guys know and I've been speaking about Cade Cuttingham before but man this recent video has been going a viral on Instagram and all over social media with Cade Cuttingham basically in my opinion getting trolled on Instagram so I'm gonna put a clip in here I'm gonna let you guys see this but I was dying when this video came out Yo, bro. What's that? I can sing and dance, but for real though, I can't wait to see you at Say draft dance. night, daddy. Come on, I can't bro. wait to Come see on. you at draft right, night, daddy. Yeah, bro. I hope you gonna know. Get him out. 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 Now, with that being said, I'm very curious about some of your guys' opinion and what do you think about players and these highly recruited players really going to college in the future? Now, it's one thing, of course, because they're going to be getting some type of money. They're obviously going to be able to make money off of their image and their likeness. I'm very curious. What do you guys think? Because, of course, a lot of people were surprised Cade Cunningham actually did go to college while Jalen Green went to the G League route. And with all these emerging routes and, of course, basically the NCAA having no other option but to bend their rules and try to allow players to make some type of bread i'm very curious to wonder do you guys think that a lot of these highly recruited players are gonna now go to college because of course they can make that or are they gonna go these other places personally i gotta be honest here i see a lot of them not going these alternative routes and going the proven route if you guys know college basketball if you do perform well enough man you probably have a good shot at getting drafted just because of course the visibility and it's been proven a number of players have gone through that college system and of course it may not be the best and of course everywhere you go is going to have problems but it has been proven and people have gotten to the league from there even the g league and been successful long term so i'm curious what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below but first and foremost let me know what do you think about Jalen green is he really the real deal at the next level is he going to dominate and really be the player we all think he is let me know in the comments down below as well as Cade cunningham what do you think about him getting trolled on instagram i gotta be honest i was crying when that video came out but let me know in the comments down below as well as what do you think about these highly recruited younger players like Bronny, like mikey are they really going to college or are they going a different route let me know in the comments down below but man put in the comments as well any video suggestions you do have for me i always take a look at those man and give this video a like subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications to get a new notification every time i upload a new video i appreciate each and every one of you all right lnh and i'm out